Peace and love, y'all, because you're having a great day today. I'm having myself a great day, and I'm wishing y'all the same. It always feels like a mouthful when I say that, but I'm wishing y'all the best. Hope you guys had a great week. And let's talk today about the school system. I've never rocked with school. I've always looked at it as largely programming-based, as a stress trap. I'll get into what I mean by that. I've always thought the people who made school are feeding on our attention, feeding on our time. And ultimately, I've always felt school is keeping us, for the most part, from reaching our potential and creating our life, creating our reality the way we want. So these are my opinions, of course. If y'all agree, make sure to let me know. And if you don't, also let me know. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments. And if y'all could like the video, that would be really helpful. Uh, you know, it helps the algorithm, helps me reach more and more people. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not monetizing nothing. I just want to um, spread this kind of message because I think a lot of people have, you know, they don't see it the way we see it. And I know if you're on this channel, you likely will resonate with the stuff that I have to say in this video. But let's start about why I think school is largely programming based. So school to me is completely meant to discourage free thinking. We go in to the assembly line and we all come out with the same ideologies, the same beliefs on the planet, the same um, context on, on what history was, his story. Um, and yeah, we have different titles, like some are gonna be doctors, some are gonna be teachers, some are gonna be accountants, but we're all programmed with the same BS that we're taught throughout, throughout the school system, throughout the, you know, how many years we go through school. And you gotta ask yourself, why are we being taught things like algebra, you know, pointless history that might may or not be true, um, science, when there's things that we know, like law of attraction, and even more real life things. Like, why aren't we being taught things like learning to do our taxes, learning to run a business, learning to be self-sustainable, learning to, um, you know, grow food, um, you know, just things that, learning how to get out of debt, right? They don't teach us about things that are actually going to be applicable in the real world, but they're happy to teach you about some algebra equation that you're never going to learn again in your life. And um, to me, the reason that we're just bombarded throughout the course of the school with things like math and science, you know, you always got to have some science in your schedule, right? Um, is because they're trying to lock you into your left brain, the analytical brain. And when you slowly begin to think from that brain dominantly, you lose the ability to think from the right side, which is all about imagination. Albert Einstein, the man who made the theory of relativity, literally said he's regarded as one of the most famous mathematicians to ever world ever live in this world. He said that knowledge is limited, imagination is limitless. So they're trying to trap you in your left brain and ultimately discourage you from ever thinking outside of that box that they put you in um, to keep you from thinking freely, to to keep you from asking questions like, you know, why don't I just leave this and start my, my own business, right? Why don't I just kind of disassociate from all of this? What if this isn't true, right? When everybody, for the most part, knows the same things, there's a whole lot less questions to be asked. And on top of that, the people who choose to, to think freely are regarded as crazy or conspiracy theorists. And if you ask me, it's made to be that way. Sorry, my, my voice be cracking and stuff. And then, um, going back to Law of Attraction, we know, quantum physics has proven it, that we create our reality, that consciousness is capable of creating anything through their imagination. And you gotta, you gotta wonder, why are we not being taught this knowledge in school? in the place of learning. 
if this matrix is really all about, you know, helping one another, helping every man succeed, which we know by now it's not, but there's a lot of people who haven't put the pieces together, haven't connected the dots yet. So the other thing I want to talk about is why I call it a stress trap. The matrix that we, the matrix, the school system that we know is 100% ran on fear. It is a system held together by fear. Robert Kiyosaki in his book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, talks about how society is ran on two emotions, fear and greed, but largely fear. And it's no different for the school system. Our parents fear that we're not gonna get enough in life, we're not gonna be comfortable, we're not gonna have security in life. So they make us go to school out of their own fear, out of their own programming. And then throughout school, we're told to do well or you won't go to a good college and you won't get a good job. Even though that job isn't even promised. And even like in certain situations in school, you'll look at like, your teachers will be like, if you don't do this, if you don't act exactly how I want you to, I'm gonna take points off of this or you guys are gonna lose points as a class. And what they're subconsciously doing is making you fear that if you don't act in alignment with what they want, that your future potentially could be affected. And that's messed up to me. And then the reason I call it a stress trap also is because we pay all this money to go through school. And then we pay all this money to go to college. Most of us end up in loads of debt, you know, 50, $100,000 worth of debt that then weighs on us for a long time, right? It's a huge stressor, weakening our immune system and shit. And then we go through the college to a job that isn't promised to compete with hundreds of people for that spot. We don't even know if it's going to be, you know, guaranteed. So it's a huge stressor the whole time. And like I said, stress is all uh, related to weakening the immune system. So for me, I look at that and I'm like, this seems to just be an entire system, an entire assembly line that is built around stress and programming, fear and programming, keeping you from thinking freely through fear. And then lastly, we know that attention is so powerful. Attention is where money's to be made. We live in an attention economy right now. And your boy's gonna drink some water, man. <laughs> I'm like trying to talk, but I got some I got some stuff going on. <sighs> we live in an attention economy. And these people who, um, you know, instituted these school systems, they're hiring the same neurologists that are hired to run social media platforms. And it's all done to kind of keep our attention in a certain place. Keep our attention on school-related goals, school-related visions of the future right? We know that creating our reality exists. We know that we can have anything we want through um, law of attraction, changing our thoughts, erasing our programming on the world. And we still have to go through 15, 20 years of school <laughs> throughout our lives. And just think how there are still many people who drop out of school and go on to run multi-million dollar businesses, to become millionaires, to do whatever the hell they want. And it's actually likely because they erased all that programming and started thinking for themselves. So they know that if they can keep your attention within a small limited box, that they can ultimately keep you from straying away from the masses 
and doing huge things in this life during your time here, right? If there were so many people who understood this, so many more people who understood the fact that, yeah, you're going to school, you're supposedly getting an education, but you're also wasting a lot of time, then you would slowly begin to see that, um, you know, maybe this isn't what I actually want. Because, yeah, we all have dreams, right? But school is going to prevent us from ultimately reaching them. And that's what I was talking about, about reaching your potential. When you are caught up doing schoolwork every single night, and then you go to school for, you know, eight hours a day, you don't have a lot of time for creating that vision, that real vision that you want, right? That one that you know is going to lead to happiness and freedom. But they will keep you 100% locked in the system with the promise of getting a job that is only going to give you so much and again suck all of your time and freedom right you don't get to create your own schedule you don't get to create your own salary you don't get to create your own business as a whole you got to work for someone else so to me school is all built around fear it's all built around programming and it's strategically made to keep your time and focus on everything other than your real dreams, your real goals, keeping you limited to a certain potential that is much under what you could be achieving in this reality. So that's why I don't like school. And like I said, I started picking up on this early on, going to school. And yeah, when I got to college, I just, I couldn't do it anymore. I dropped out and I started my own business and um, I'm in such a happier place, such a less stressful place. And I'm able to do stuff like, you know, bring you guys content, which is awesome. If you guys like this type of content, make sure to hit me with a boom. And also, like I said, make sure to give me your opinions because I love to hear them. I'm wishing you guys all the best. Remember, there's no stress and there is no pressure. Peace.